Hello everybody. Yes, I am currently beat red in the face. Uh, I just came out, came from outside because I just got done taking a walk with my kids because it's pretty out and it's very sunny and I look very, very red. <laughs> Downside to being practically a ghost. But this is something that I was actually kind of thinking about on my walk. Uh, for some of you who do not know and do not follow me on Instagram because of reasons, I don't know why. Well, I know some of you may or may not have Instagram and that's perfectly fine. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going off topic here. We're not, we're not supposed to be going off topic. Let's get back on topic. There we go. Okay. So for a lot of you who are not aware, I have Pokemon Go. And I, as of recording this and as of posting this, which is going to be right after I'm done because I'm not going to edit this, but for me personally, I highly recommend Pokemon Go to a lot of at-home moms or dads even who have a, you know, some sort of mobile device that you're able to take with you, you know, that gives you like internet access and yada yada. And the main reason why I say that is because since starting Pokemon Go, I want to say about a week ago, and someone's car alarm is going off. Know who that is it's not mine but uh, since starting Pokemon Go I, like I said roughly about a week ago I have gotten out so much more than I have in the past like couple months and I feel like it's actually giving me a little bit more energy I guess you can say I don't know I I grew up on the original Pokemon yes I am old I feel ancient I'm 27 and yet I feel like I'm 90 sometimes but for me I grew up on the original Pokemon like the original cartoons the original games like on the Game Boy if many of you know what that even is <laughs> but I grew up on those I I grew up on that Syst on those systems. I grew up playing those games, watching the, the cartoons. Well, some may call it an anime. However you look at it, I grew up on those. And for me, I I let Pokemon go. Like, you know, at first when it first came out, I was like, mm, you know, I'm not really that concerned with it. And recently, like I said, about a week ago, I want to say it's been almost two weeks, closer to two weeks, I have been realizing that a lot more people are more interested in the Pokemon that I can make. And as a creator myself, sometimes finding a good image to design something off of is very, very difficult, especially when it comes to Pokemon, because a lot of the time, Pokemon, like pictures of Pokemon, you're unable to find like a 360 view online. And I finally came to the conclusion that, you know what, I'm gonna download Pokemon Go. I'm gonna try it out, see how well I like it. And if I don't like it, I'll just uninstall it. No big deal. Day, day one, I started playing it. And then I realized there are about, about five or six Pokestops, like, within walking distance of my house. There's three gyms within walking distance of my house. And I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I was not aware of that. And I, day one, I, I started playing, and then day two, playing, three, and so on and so forth. I've been playing Pokemon Go pretty much every day. And I've started actually taking short walks, so nothing too major. Because, as many of you know, I do have a really bad knee from a really bad fall I had a couple years ago. That happened roughly about... 
two separate incidents where I fell really bad on my knee. So I have a bad knee. And for being able to walk, oh, for about an hour outside, maybe a little bit more, is great. I've been getting out more. I've been feeling a little bit more energized each day. I get to enjoy it with my kids, which is even better. And for me personally, as of recording this, I highly recommend Pokemon Go to a lot of stay-at-home parents or anybody who's really trying to get out of the house. This will kind of give you that little bit of a boost that you may need in order to get out of the house and to actually enjoy things outside of the house. If you do live close by to Poke Stops and Poke Gyms and whatnot, I, like I said, I do. I live, there are so many Poke Stops within the area that I live and I, and I'm so happy. I am so incredibly happy. And what is also really great about Pokemon Go is that if you're smart, and you don't trespass and you actually, you know, you actually don't pokey, pokey drive, I guess, Pokemon Go and drive, which is stupid. Don't do that. But what's really great about Pokemon Go is that for a designer such as myself who does make Pokemon or make Pokemon related items, because as many of you know, I do make a lot of fandoms. It is fan fucking tastic because it is so easy for me to look up a Pokemon either after I've seen it or after I caught it which I have a lot of Pokemon <laughs> I actually have a legendary Lugia I am so proud of and in another video I don't know what video I will I will share my my uh, pictures of all of my personal Pokemon that I have. Funny enough, my husband, when I caught Lugia, he he still hasn't. He doesn't have one. He's had the game longer than me, and I'm already the same level as him. And I've been playing it, playing it a shorter amount of time than he has. So I guess you know that's pretty funny. But to me, um. I really enjoy the game. It is it is a very fun game. It can be very fun. But if you do it safely and if you you know, you're not an idiot and you don't and you go out into like areas that are restricted or you're not, you know, you're you're not aware of your surroundings and you know all that that I don't do it. Don't obviously don't do it. But the game also gives you like little reminders at the beginning. Hey, you know, don't drive and play Pokemon Go. Don't do this. Don't do that. And just don't be stupid. Or in the wise world word of Phil DeFranco, don't be stupid, stupid. So. But that's just kind of a little thing that just kind of popped into my head today. Uh, tomorrow, you guys will be receiving a new video that will be posted up. Um, and I'm sorry that the uploads are kind of like all over the place right now. I'm still trying to set like a good set time of when I'm going to start posting. And trying to get like, you know, trying to get a good steady rhythm. And I'm also trying to record as many videos as I can throughout the week so then you guys have some sort of content to watch but this is just me coming on here and wanting to talk to you guys a little bit about it it's been extremely busy on my end I created my first crochet pattern uh well I call it my first nerdy pattern uh, which you guys are more than welcome to check out um in the, the linky links it's on my website it'll direct you to my blog where I did post up a free copy of it online but you can also buy a copy of the pdf for like I believe I put it up for about like two dollars and that's extremely cheap uh, because the pattern will go over the certain steps on how to do it. It is for more of an advanced beginner, someone who is familiar with how to do certain type of stitches and everything. So keep an eye out for that. 
But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my little goofy rant about Pokemon Go. It, well, I, mean, I guess it's not really a rant. It's more like a praising Pokemon Go. But I, yeah. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. It's so wonderful to have you guys here. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I love you guys. Bye.